I'm so excited today. So excited because we have a new setting powder to try. <laughs> hey you guys, it's Pumpkin. I'm back with another video. Hi to everyone who is new because I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. I'm up to 114. Just call me Jackie Ina at this point. <laughs> kidding so anyway thank you so much for the 100 subscribers i reached a milestone yay and i know that it's only 100 subscribers so you guys don't need to comment that but i remember when i had four and i was really excited about that reached my 2021 goal which was to have 100 subscribers and my goal last year was to have 50 and i reached that also so thank you thank you thank you very much so anyway we have a new powder to try and today we are going to be trying the Tatcha setting powder. I'm super excited to try this because I really love Tatcha products. My favorite Tatcha product was definitely their dewy setting. It wasn't a setting spray. It was like a finishing mist. And it used to make your skin really dewy. Um, I love that. But then I traded it for the Aqua Glass Coating Mist uh, by Ready just because it was less expensive. And while we're on that topic, let me mention that Tatcha is a very expensive brand. But it is almost always worth it they came out with the setting powder a couple weeks ago um and the reason why the setting powder is supposed to stand out is because for one it's tatcha and then two it blurs your pores and makes your skin better over time and it's supposed to make your makeup last eight hours getting into the packaging absolutely beautiful um you guys probably can't see it on camera but it actually looks like it's like wood the packaging of self of course is paper but um it's got a wood print on it and it's called tatcha the silk powder it says that it's talc free um of course it's a translucent powder it has a radiant finish that blurs while cocooning skin from pollutants and blue light so when it comes to price this powder is 48 dollars, which actually is not bad for tatcha okay it's terrible for a setting powder to be almost fifty dollars however it's not that bad for tatcha i was more so expecting this to pay like sixty dollars um just because of how they are and that's just how tatcha gets down they put good ingredients in their products and therefore it reflects in the price so unboxing this this is what it looks like um just by looking at it i can definitely tell that this is a smaller amount that you get from standard powders just to do a quick comparison um i have my laura mercier here and it is one ounce exactly and also i have my one size setting powder by patrick star and it is 1.2 ounces so even bigger than the laura mercier the tatcha powder is 0 0.7 ounces so i would say that is significantly smaller um i don't know if it's going to be the type of powder where we're going to need a lot of it um if it's going to go by fast but now i kind of see where they were able to kind of curve that price to being a little bit lower at 48 dollars is because you get less product so per usual i have already done my eye makeup um i am going to put on some foundation uh before i use this powder because duh the foundation i'm going to be using is the urban decays stay naked um i've used this a million times on here uh it's just like my go-to foundation i just wanted to use something that like i would wear every day just to see how the powder is going to look for the majority of the time i'm just going to put on a little bit of milk of magnesia in my oily spots i have reintroduced milk of magnesia back into my makeup routine um, I just feel like it's better at hiding my pores um, because it kind of gives my makeup something to sit on top of and I've already primed my face with my Nivea post shave balm. I know that Milk of Mag is not supposed to be the greatest for your skin. Um, however, I've been using it for years and I haven't had any problems that I didn't have before. I'm just going to put on a little bit of my foundation going to go in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and add some of this on top of the foundation. So something super cool about this powder is that the way that it comes out is really cool. So I didn't get this on camera but there's a little white contraption or like a rubber band that sticks around this purple part. Um, and out of this purple part comes the powder so you can kind of see it down in here um, So basically all you do is shake that into the lid and you get more of a controlled amount 
rather than it just kind of going everywhere as far as it being translucent it looks like it has a little bit of a yellow tinge which I like personally for my skin tone I know that a lot of our ladies who may have more of a fair tone this may become a problem for you however I feel like if you're able to get away with banana powder then you should be able to get away with this also um it's not yellow it's just more tan than most of them it's not super white and for some reason I had in my head that it would be super white and I'm just going to start right in with my same uh, damp beauty blender that I use for my foundation because that's what I usually do and going right underneath the eyes and then a little bit down so putting this on it feels great um, I do see a little bit of radiance just when the sun hits it a certain way I can tell that there's like a little bit of sparkle but don't let that scare you like it's not it's not what you think it's not a sparkly powder it's very lightweight very fine milled um, a little does go a long way so this is how much I had left after doing all of that and that's a pretty good amount um, and I have a pretty good amount on my face right now as you can probably see and I can just shake that powder right on back in and just close the cap so I'm really liking kind of how that looks so while this is baking I'm just going to go in and put in the rest of my eyeliner and do some stuff on my lips and then I will come back to show you guys the process of me taking the powder off okay so I finished the rest of my makeup um, and so now we just need to do the powder so I'm just gonna take my what is this <laughs> how did I forget the name of this so fast oh sorry uh, this is just my heavenly luxe it cosmetics brush and I'm just going to take that to dust it off see how this looks in the monitor mm. Mm. so I feel like this looks a little bit masky it looks not harsh but not harsh but like um yeah it looks harsh uh i i um mm -mm, mm -mm. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray it with some setting spray to see if that makes a difference tatcha you want to miss the mark with this one okay so i just got done spraying it it looks a lot better now that it's sprayed which i feel like a lot of powders do that so i'm not gonna take points off for that um going to go in with some bronzer just because I feel like I'm looking a little bit pale today this is my Fenty bronzer um, in the color Island Ting which is different from what I usually use I usually use the Bion girl one but I stole this one from my mom so we're gonna use that one today and I'm not even gonna bother putting blush on because the mask here is my honest opinion I like it but that's it just i just like it that's it i don't love it i'm not in love with it um much 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 rather use my laura mercier uh i just expected more like you know what i mean like for the price and for the brand that it is i just i just don't like it i felt like and i feel like i could feel it on my face for one it went on very light but now i feel like it feels murky um and I know it's not my foundation because it's a foundation I use all the time that I can barely feel on my skin. Being honest, it does not help that I have such textured skin. I've been using a derm roller, which has pretty much made my skin kind of break out in little itty bitty white heads all the time. And so I feel like on top of it, my skin looks bad. Um, so I feel like this is this this kind of powder to me would look better on non-textured skin some powders just that's just the honest truth they just look better on skin that's not so textured I don't really see the radiance that they talked about anymore um, especially before I sprayed it it was completely flat it looked completely like a mask and there was no 
um, definition there at all. Really, I would give this a three out of five stars. Only knocking this powder because of how much it is in comparison to other powders. And I know that I talked about the brand and how much it usually costs. However, Laura Mercier is a fantastic brand, um, especially since they have now kind of brought more colors into their powder and so I don't necessarily have to get translucent I can get my favorite one which is honey which is the one that my mom bought me um, about three or four weeks ago and I've been in love with that powder ever since she got it for me um, but it's only $39 so we're talking about an almost $10 difference um, and I feel like I get much much better performance out of that powder versus this one it's just okay uh, three out of five stars would not recommend still love y'all but this ain't it thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate all the recent subscriptions um and those that have been here since seven months ago where my videos were completely trash and you guys still subscribe so i appreciate it just leave a like a comment and a little subscription for me and i will see you guys next time goodbye